Hi there, my diversionary family. Matt Morrow here, Executive Artistic Director. I miss you all. Like most of you, I'm at home. Working from home. Still at home. How long has it been? I think I'm starting to lose track. Just kidding. I'm just gonna take a moment here and give you a brief update. All of us here at Diversionary are doing just fine, if a little stir crazy. Our staff is still together and we meet regularly via Zoom. We are doing our best to adjust to the moment, as I'm sure you are, even as the moment keeps evolving by the second. For me, this crisis entered a new level when we lost two of our theater greats, actor Mark Blum and playwright Terrence McNally. As a way of honoring McNally, my husband and I watched the 2018 documentary on his life called Every Act of Life, and it is an extraordinary look inside his career, his personal life, and the incredible legacy he leaves behind. I mean, I had no idea that he and Edward Albee were a thing. I mean, talk about the ultimate power couple. You have to check it out. It's called Every Act of Life. Uh, Skyler and I watched it via Amazon Prime, but I'm sure there are other, other ways to stream it. So, uh, there is a lot that we don't know right now, and that's going to be the case for some time. But here are a few things that we do know. We are starting a regular communication with you about what our staff is up to and what's keeping them safe and sane at home during this quarantine. Our staff is going to be posting videos about what they're up to in terms of home projects as a way of keeping in touch and providing some sort of inspiration or maybe at least a smile. Since production is on hold right now, our artistic wing has pivoted and we are putting together a Zoom reading of Terrence McNally's beautiful masterpiece, Frankie and Johnny at the Claire de Lune. More details on that to come. Kid Versionary, our after-school program, has jumped online as well, so we're still staying connected to all of the young people we were reaching with our vital LGBT arts education programming. And we're planning our next Silver Squad, our program reaching LGBTQIA senior citizens, so stay tuned for dates on that. Our virtual gala, the Royal Uprising Ball, is coming together as a fun, high-energy virtual party, so stay tuned for that as well. And I'm uh, starting to sense a trend here. Everything is moving online. This is great and important because it's the only way we can connect right now. And I am grateful that we have this platform. And I don't know about you, but my technical capabilities have been proved significantly over the past week. But to be honest with you, it's important for me and for my sanity to slow down unplug, and uh, take some time for myself during this chaotic period. To take a step back and, and consider how our world functions. To take the time to rest and read a book, write in the journal, and ponder some big questions about how we connect right now. The good, the bad, and the most importantly, the changeable so that when we do come back, we can return as an energized, focused force for change and a force to make our community radically kind, radically generous, and radically loving. I hope that all of you are able to take some time in this way too. I believe it is an, an important part of what this moment is really all about. I do look forward to the day we can all be together again in our cozy theater on Park Boulevard. Until then, know that I love you all and that I wish for you safety, security, and comfort during this uncertain time. Take good care of yourself and each other. Bye-bye.